ASST is a simple examination to diagnose autoreactive urticaria. The principle of the test is similar to that of an intracutaneous test, for example, for sensitization to mold or candida, only in this case it is done with the patient's own serum. To perform this test, you need a timer, which can be set to at least half an hour, three single-use 1 milliliter syringes, several 0.8 millimeter needles to load the syringes, and three 0.4 millimeter hypodermic needles for injection into the skin. The control solution is a 0.9% saline solution, and the positive control is a 0.1 milligram per milliliter histamine solution. Blood should be drawn from the cubital vein. The blood tube must be a serum vial, free from all coagulation-inducing substances, and should ideally be made of glass. The puncture should be done as usual. The coagulation process will last longer than usual due to the absence of coagulation-inducing substances. The blood sample must sit for half an hour at room temperature. At this point, the sample tube must be marked so that it cannot be mistaken for another sample. This is very important. In fact, the ASST should only be performed in one patient at a time so that accidental injections of patients with the serum of another patient are avoided. After coagulation is finished, the blood sample should be centrifuged for 15 minutes at room temperature and 1300 Gs. Here, it is 2,600 rotations. After the centrifuging, the sample tube is carefully removed and transported upright to the workstation. The preparation of the injections takes place at a clean workstation. First, for the negative control injection, a 0.9% saline solution is drawn into a 1 milliliter syringe, such as an insulin or tuberculin syringe, and a 0.4 millimeter needle, suitable for intracutaneous injection, is attached. The protective covering remains on the needle. The syringe is marked with a permanent marker and put aside. Then, the positive control injection is prepared. About 150 to 200 microliters of histamine solution should be drawn. The histamine solution should be suitable for intracutaneous testing and should contain 0.1 milligrams per milliliter of histamine. Before the serum is drawn, the identity of the blood sample must be established without doubt. The slightest uncertainty means the sample must be discarded. The drawing of the patient's serum takes place through a 0.8 millimeter needle into a 1 millimeter syringe. The syringe is marked with a permanent marker and put aside. Analogous to the usual intracutaneous testing procedure, the testing occurs on the volar lower arm after a disinfectant has been sprayed on. The three testing areas are labeled before the injections. The three test areas should be at least four centimeters apart. After the air has been expelled from the injection system, the injection is strictly intracutaneous. 50 to 70 microliters of solution are injected so that a lentil-sized welt forms. The injections should take place in rapid sequence. The first test reading takes place after 15 minutes. The diameter of the wheel that has developed at the site of injection is measured with a transparent ruler. In this case, there is no reaction. The positive control histamine should be undoubtedly positive. The result is entered into the lab report. In order to be assessed as positive, the reaction to the serum must be 2 millimeters larger than the reaction to the negative control. That is clearly the case here. As can be seen, the ASST is a quick, easy, and inexpensive test to perform. It is the test of choice to diagnose autoreactive urticaria.